The first institution that failed Detroit is the political institutions and the leadership basically for the last 40 years. If you look at the leadership, including the current mayor who everybody had expectations, Dave Bing, who was a former star yep, for, the Detroit, for the Detroit Pistons. But it was first, pol I think, politics. The economics have been bad for Detroit. Obviously, they had a lot of white flight. They had a lot of change in business structures. But in the end, I think leadership and lack of long-term planning over the last 40 years, actually, in Detroit, really hurt Detroit. There's no secret about it. We have troubled cities out there. Los Angeles has been in the news. There are smaller cities facing bankruptcy. Uh, but when you look at Detroit, it's said to be a unique thing. The heritage of the Dowd family there. What did you experience where you knew this was coming? Well, my father worked in the auto industry for 35 years. He worked for Chrysler. And so he obviously, we watched growing up and the migration. As, as all of everything that happened in there. We moved out two months before the riots in 1967. So we were were sort of part of that what that happened in there my brothers and sisters many of which wanted to stay there some of which are still there had to leave Detroit and had to leave that area of Michigan because they couldn't find jobs and you go down there you drive down there I was just back there two weeks ago you drive down in that city and it's such a sad thing because building after building after building as I just right. said on the air this is a city and this is at n in no case anywhere else it's lost more than half its population uh, in the last 40 right. years. What is the lesson here for Washington? You mentioned earlier there are attributes in Washington of what we've observed in Detroit. What do Republicans and Democrats need to know this morning? Well, first thing is Detroit couldn't pay their bills and they had a, we're running a deficit, which we're doing in Washington. Second, Detroit had this, it has this huge long-term debt obligations, about $20 billion. Mm -hmm. The federal government right now has about 50 to $60 trillion of long-term debt obligations if you look at everything they have to spend. And three, which is something Thing I know that we've talked about before is the inability for Washington and the leadership in Washington to come together and solve the problems. All of those things are very much the same of what was going on in Detroit. Special circumstances, the federal government can print their own money, many other circumstances, but some of them are very similar. Right.